like is that him. I came especially to see my friends from Hourglass, and I came especially to see Matek. As you know, I'm a Matek collector. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm not uh, Ayatollah, you know, I don't believe only in my religion. I believe in every religion. As long as every religion has God for love and not God for hate. So it's the same. Every brand who makes fine watches, I like and I support. Is it Vashor? Is it AP? I think I just respect the watch brands that are making high quality. I also respect my own, but it doesn't avoid me to respect each one. And one of my biggest collections is Patek. It happened well, like this, I don't know why, but uh, Patek is today my biggest part of the collection. And I must say, what I have seen has impressed me, not only because of Patek, but because it is shown here that tells us that you on this market is important because it's a sophisticated market. And if Mate decided to bring such a great exhibition to Singapore, it's because Singapore means something. It means the collectors, you people here in this, uh, in this uh, shop, you are important. You are important to the watch industry, you are important in Swiss, Switzerland, because you are making it possible for us to develop fine, high quality watches. And a high quality watch has something special because it has a soul. And there are not many products that have a soul. Uh, my <coughs> Apple <coughs> phone the last one, I don't remember, 11 is the number or something like that, it is great, but it has no soul. And it cannot ever get the soul, because machines cannot give birth to a soul. Only the finger of man or woman can give birth to a soul. <clears throat> and high horology is producing watches with a soul. <clears throat> high horology is also producing watches that connects you to something that is eternal. As we are all going to die, <clears throat> as all the products that are around us are going also to die or to become obsolete, at a certain moment you, we need to connect to something that is eternal because that's the opposite of obsolescence. And how can we connect to eternity? Number one, <coughs> through love, because love is eternal. Number two, through art, because art is also eternal. The art of the Beatles, young four people, <clears throat> two are dead, but they still play every day for millions of people. Picasso, still every day, millions of people are watching him. Mozart, every day, people are playing. So you see, art is eternal. And that's the beauty of our job, of my job that we create eternity, that we create a soul, that we create love. That brings the joy for me in my job. That's why I'm passionate. That is why I'm passionate. And that is why I collect. So now, I blah, 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 I can speak now <laughs> quite long and then uh, you would ask yourself, why did we go? This guy only spoke and spoke and spoke. <laughs> and we get we got no drink, we had to stand <laughs> and he was talk, 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 talk. So now I'm finished to talk. <laughs> <laughs> and, I am, and I am ready. <clears throat> and any question, any any question you might have, you can ask now the question. Or you can then also ask to me privately later. But I am open to remarks, to questions, to complaints. You always learn from a complaint. You always learn from a mistake. No complaints, no success. The complaint is necessary to progress. But the problem is you must listen to the complaint. 
and then you must correct the complaint. And then you learn. So the learning process goes through failures, <clears throat> which in Singapore is not so common, because the education in this country is you have no right to fail. <laughs> you have no right to do a mistake, which is terrible, because it's the only way to learn. You can only learn through mistakes. <clears throat> and Einstein said, the knowledge of a person is the accumulation of all his mistakes plus all his experiences. And that's it. And the Jhune said, yeah, but uh, what about all the theories, everything he studied? He said, this is just information. The real knowledge is the, all the mistakes you did, which you don't repeat, because you never do a mistake twice, and all the experience you have. That's the value. Okay, first question. Okay, second one. <laughs> Third one. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can have a drink. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.